Hello and welcome to this video. So we are going to proceed from where we left during the last video and that is question number 16. So I want us to go to, oh, we are through with section A of this paper. So I want us to go to section 2 and we are going to start with question number 17. So straight away let's get to question number 17. So question number 17 states that a, a rectangular water tank measures 2.4 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.5 meters high. So the tank contained some water up to a height of 0 0.45 meters. So calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up the tank. So let me draw this tank. So we have a rectangular water tank that way. Okay, though it's not that perfect, then this tank measures 2.4 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 0. Point, what? Not 0. Point, but 1.5 meters high. So, and then we are told that the tank contained some water up to a height of 0. 0.45 meters. So the tank has got some water up to a height of 0 0.45 meters. So the first question is, calculate the amount of water in liters needed to fill up this tank. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what do we do for this question? So as we have said, uh, there is water in this tank up to a height of 0 0.45 meters. So to fill up this tank, it means that we need to get the remaining height, okay? So the entire height is 1.5 meters. And then already 0 0.45 meters is occupied by water. So the remaining amount or the remaining height is, <clears throat> so when you subtract this, it's going to be 1.05 meters. So 1.05 meters is the height from this point to this point, okay? Zero point, uh, 1.05. So uh, the remaining amount of water to fill this tank uh, will be, okay, so let's first find the volume. So the volume that is remaining, so it's 2.4 meters times 2 meters and then times the remaining height, okay? 1.05 meters. So when we multiply this, it's going to be 5.04 cubic meters. But then the, our question requires us to get the amount in liters. So we need to get the relationship between cubic meters and liters. So can you guess the relationship or do you know about it? So the relationship is that one cubic meter is the same as 1000 liters okay one cubic meter is the same as 1000 liters so what about 5.04 cubic meters so what do we do we are going to cross multiply so it's going to be 5.04 times 1000 and this is going to be 5040 liters okay so that is the amount of water that is needed to fill this tank, okay, to fill that tank. So, I, I believe we have understood. So let's go uh, to part B of this question. <clears throat> so we are told that an inlet pipe was opened and water led to flow into the tank at the rate of 10 liters per minute. Then after one hour, a drain pipe was opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank at the rate of 4 liters per minute. So, Roman 1, uh, calculate the height of water in the tank after 3 hours. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back here. So, there's water already in, in this tank, okay? Then, a tap is opened or an inlet pipe is opened that allows water into this tank, okay, at the rate of 10 liters in one minute. 10 liters in one minute, okay. 
So, this uh, water is allowed to flow for one hour. Then after one hour, a drainage pipe is opened also. A drainage pipe means that water is flowing out of the tank. Uh, so a drainage pipe is opened and water allowed to flow out of the tank at the rate of 4 liters uh, per minute. 4 liters per minute. Okay, so let me clear some space here. Okay. Okay, so the question is, uh, calculate the height of water in the tank after 3 hours. So I want us to understand something uh, very crucial here. So, uh, in the first one hour, first one hour, water is only allowed to flow in, okay, at the rate of 10 liters in one minute. So let's get the amount of water that flows in during that one hour. So if 10 liters are allowed or gets into the tank in one minute, what about 60 minutes? Okay, 60 minutes which is equivalent to one hour. So this will be 60 times 10 is 600 liters. 600 liters. So that is the amount of water that gets in during the first hour. And then we are told that after that one hour, a drainage pipe is opened. Okay, that allows water out of the tank at the rate of 4 liters per minute. Okay. So we are told that we need to get the height of water after three hours. So we have three hours, okay? During the first one hour, water could only flow in, okay? So 600 liters got into the tank during the first one hour. What about the second hour? We are not told that this tub or this inlet was closed after the first one hour. That means water was still getting into the tank. So during the second hour, another 600 liters got into the, into the tank. But this time round, there is also a tap that was draining water at the rate of 4 liters per minute. Okay? So, let's, uh, so if the tap is draining water at the rate, at the rate of 4 liters in one minute, what about in 60 minutes or in one hour? Okay, so this will be 60 by 4, which is 240 liters. So what does this mean? During the second hour, 600 liters got into the tank. At the same time, 240 liters got out of the tank through the, through the drainage pipe. So we subtract 240 liters that went out of the tank. Then during the third hour, another 600 liters got into the tank. Okay? But there was still another, or the same drainage type was still allowing water out of the tank. And we have seen that in one hour, this pipe allows water out of the tank, uh, or rather 240 liters out of this tank. So another 240 liters got out of the tank. So in total, how, how much water is left in this tank? Okay. So we are going to add 600. Okay. Uh, we are going to add 600 that got in during the first one hour. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And then during the second hour, another 600 got in. So and then minus 240 which got out and then plus another 600 that got in and another 240 liters that got out so let's let's work out this so we have 600 plus 600 which is 1200 1200 minus 240 uh, that is uh, 960 and then plus uh, 600 that got in during the third hour okay plus 600 that's 1560 and then minus 240 minus 240 it's 1320 liters so this is the amount of water finally after three hours 
that remained in that tank okay or that got into that tank remember there was also some water in 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 this tank okay so the question was find or calculate uh, the height of water in the tank after three hours so okay let's go back here so uh, there is water in this tank already up to a height of 0 0.45 meters then another another 1320 liters has been added to this tank so we need to get this height that of course water rose by a certain height the level of water rose by a certain height so we want to get that height okay and then we can now get the entire height okay so let's do this okay so let's say uh 1320 uh, liters got into the tank so let's get this capacity or let's turn this capacity into volume so we said that one cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters so let's get the volume that is equivalent to 1320 liters okay so we're going to divide 1320 by 1000 so that is 1.32 uh, cubic meters not centimeters cubic meters so that is the volume that of, of that is the volume uh, that was added okay or that is equivalent to 1320 liters then to get that height we need to to do this so the length the length of this tank does not change it's still 2.4 meters so if we multiply 2.4 meters by 2 meters which is the the width of the tank and then by a certain value height that we we, are, we don't know we are supposed to get 1.32 cubic meters okay so uh, let's get the value of h so 2.4 times 2 that's 4.8 and then times h is 4.8 h is equal to 1.32 and then we divide through by 4.8 by 4.8 and we get the value of h as as 0 0.275 meters okay so that's is the height of uh, of that water or water rose by a height of 0 0.275 is it yeah 275 so from here to here is 0 0.275 so but the question is calculate the height of the water in the tank so that means including even the water that was previously into the tank and of course it was at a height it was up to a height of 0 0.45 meters and then we have added another 0 0.275 meters so in total in total the total height of the water total height of water in the tank is going to be the initial 0 0.45 and then plus another 0 0.275 so what is this going to be so this is going to be uh, 0 0.725 meters so that is the height of water in the tank okay so i believe we have understood that up to that point so let's get to the final part of this question which says that or calculate the total time taken to fill up this tank the total time taken to fill up this tank so let's go back to at uh, the top the top here okay let's go back here so after 3 hours after 3 hours 1320 liters got into the into the tank and from part a of the question remember part of a of the question we saw that to fill this tank completely we needed 5040 liters but then we have already filled 1320 liters so 
how, how many liters more are left? So we can subtract 5,040, or rather we can subtract uh, 1,320 from 5,040. And this is going to be uh, 3,720 liters, okay? Uh, 3,720 liters. So this is the amount of water that is required now to completely fill uh, this tank. So, uh, going back here, we saw that, okay, uh, in the first hour, 600 liters, 600 liters got into the tank, and then for the second hour, now we had 600 minus 240 because that's when the drainage pipe was opened. So that means in every hour or after the first hour now, there was 600 minus 240, it's 360 liters. So in every hour, 360 liters would get into this tank. Okay. So we, we need to ask ourselves that if 360 liters would get into this tank in one hour. What about in 3,000, what about 3,720 liters? Okay. This will be 300, 3,720 divided by 360. And this is going to be 10.333 hours. So to fill that part that is remaining, we need 10 hours or 10.33 hours. But remember, this is not a final answer. There was another three hours that was used to fill one, uh, 1,320 liters. Okay. So in total, to get the total uh, time, we need to add three hours. And this will be 13.333 hours. So this is the total time that is going to be taken to completely fill that tank. So I believe we have all understood that question. So uh, we are going to leave it at that for now. Uh, and in the next video, we shall pick up from question number 18. So goodbye for now. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video.